Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a makeover on my sister's kitchen and pantry. So we are going to be going through all the cabinets. We're just going to make sure that we're making the space really functional and useful for her family. And then we are also going to declutter and organize her pantry as well. So I'm super, super excited for this. The kitchen is a bit of a mess. We all had breakfast here earlier today and we just need to do a little tidying. So first we are going to get to cleaning and then I will share like some pans of her kitchen and kind of show you what we are starting with and then we'll jump into the actual makeover. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, the kitchen is a bit of a mess and so I wanted to make sure that we were starting with a clean space and so we just both went through and tidied up the kitchen really quickly. This was not any kind of deep clean, but just kind of clearing off the countertops, putting away the dishes and then wiping everything down. And then we went ahead and got started with the pantry. And that's something that I would recommend doing if you're feeling overwhelmed in a space is start with a smaller space within that space. For example, we are going to be starting the makeover and transformation in her pantry. And then that will really motivate us to continue on with the bigger space of all the cabinets and the kitchen itself. Also, I did want to mention what today's giveaway is. As I had mentioned before, every video this month will be having a giveaway, so I did not want to miss out on this one. But for today's giveaway, I will be giving away a $25 Dollar Tree gift card. So all you have to do is, of course, be subscribed to my channel because this is a subscriber giveaway. And then comment down below letting me know what is your favorite item that you love to get at Dollar Tree. And as always, I will have all the details on that giveaway down below for you guys, but good luck and thank you so much for being here. I'm just so incredibly grateful for you guys. So most of the organizing bins that I'm using for my sister's pantry came from Dollar Tree and Target and I was able to save even more money by shopping through the Top Cashback app. If you guys have been with me for a while, you probably have heard me talk about them in the past and I've actually been using them for close to two years now and I love them so much. If you're unfamiliar with Top Cashback, they're an app that you can earn cash back through your online purchases. They have over 4,000 retailers on their website like Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Kohl's, Old Navy, Dollar General, and the list goes on and on. They also have a really awesome browser extension for when you're shopping on your computer, you can utilize that and it makes the process so convenient to shop from your computer as well. So how it works is you go onto their website or app and search for the retailer that you're looking for. So for example, this time I went onto Dollar Tree to search for organizing containers. And then once you search for that retailer, it takes you straight to the website so you can shop as normal. And it will then put the cash back from your purchase right into your account. Now y'all know I love shopping at Dollar Tree. My favorite thing to do is to do a mixture of Dollar Tree items and another store because this really kind of helps you utilize the amazing deals that you can find at Dollar Tree but also elevate the look and function of the space by adding just a few higher end items so that's what I did here in my sister's pantry and kitchen and keep in mind when you shop at Dollar Tree online you can search the pick and pack section to order items in smaller quantities and I will link everything down below for you guys in case if you see something in this makeover that you love but another thing that I love about Top Cashback is that they have no minimum payout so anytime you earn cash back you can get it whenever you want so I'm super excited to be 
teaming up with Top Cash back again for this video, and they are offering y'all a $10 sign on bonus when you spend $25. So not only will you be getting the cash back for your purchase, but you will also be getting an additional $10 back on top of that. I know you guys are going to love Top Cash back if you aren't already using them. They are so super helpful when reorganizing your spaces in your home or just anytime you shop online because that's just extra money when you're shopping online that you get cash back for. So I will leave that link down below for you guys so you can get your extra $10 back. And also let me know in the comments if you guys have ever used Top Cash back before. And if so, what store is your favorite to shop with them at? I know for me, one of my very favorite stores is Dollar Tree and I always try to utilize their pick and pack section. Yeah, it's our day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with a splash gun so I cool down. So once the pantry was completely emptied out and just wiped down and swept out, we went ahead and started placing some of the organizing bins in her pantry. Now this is not anything permanent. We can definitely change them around and you'll see later on we do kind of change them around a little bit, but this just gives us an idea of how it's going to function and how it's going to look very nice and pleasing to the eye when you open the pantry because I feel like when you have a pantry or a space like this that's really nice and organized and looks very aesthetically pleasing, it just makes you really motivated to keep that space looking nice and it also motivates you to really utilize that space so I know by the end of this my sister was so excited to get cooking with everything and just start using her pantry because it finally was a very functional and pretty space to be in So we have everything kind of situated how I think we're going to leave it. But now we are going to start filling up these clear containers, just putting like rice and flour and sugar and all those kind of things in there so that she doesn't have a ton of bags and she can always really see right offhand exactly how much she has of everything and what she has and what she needs to go to the store for. So that's what we're going to go ahead and tackle next. And then we'll kind of start by moving into the rest of the bins and seeing where everything will go. So as you can see, we're just starting to kind of fill up some of the containers with some of the packages that she has. Now, one thing that I made sure to let her know when she was choosing what she wanted in the containers is not to put something in the containers that was just like a one-time buy or something that you don't use very often. The only things that you're going to want to be putting into containers are things that you use often and also things that you consistently rebuy. And that way you're really able to cycle through those products. And then that makes it nice and easy that you can go ahead and label those containers and not have to change out the labels all the time. You want an apple? Okay, uh -huh. here's the apples right here. Hey, okay, there's your apple. Water slide. I know you've been down thinking about him again. I know that your heart's been broken You should try and let it go And start being yourself you, you. you can put on your dress We can play your favorite song And I will take care of you Care of you, care of you This is what we need This is what we have to do To make it Maybe you should go work that body. Whoa, oh, oh. You should go work that body. 
Another thing I did to really organize her space was to not only use these big containers to hold her bagged items, but I also used smaller containers within those large containers to really make sure that the big bins were not just getting really overrun and they wouldn't be something that would get completely jumbled over time. And it just gives the bins a really good opportunity to stay organized. Another thing I always like to do specifically when I'm working on a pantry is I always like to put together like items. So on one of the shelves, we have more dinner items. On another shelf, we have kind of more canned and processed items. On another shelf, we have like some breakfast items and snacks. And it just kind of makes sense more when you walk into the pantry and you know what area you're going to be looking in. And of course, the labels really help after that as well. Another thing I did want to mention is my sister Kristen, the one that we are doing her pantry today. Her pantry actually had really nice wooden shelves, so we didn't really have to do anything to her shelves, but I feel like a majority of homes have the wire shelving. I know basically every single home we've ever lived in up until the one that we live in currently has always had wire shelving, and it kind of makes it a little bit tricky when you're organizing a pantry. So if you have wire shelving, I'm actually going to link a video up here. It is my other sister Kara's pantry, and she had the wire shelving, and we completely transformed her pantry, and we really took care of the wire shelving and made it look not only more high-end but also way more functional and on an incredibly low budget like a couple of dollars so i'll link that video up above for you guys and also down in the description box if you have not seen that one So this is how her pantry turned out. I am so impressed with it. It is a bit of a small pantry, but I love that we really utilize the space so well. Everything is very accessible. Everything is nice and easy to see and easy to reach. And I also loved the colored bins that she chose. So I had just sent her pictures of different options and she picked these mint green ones and I love the combination of the mint green and the white and clear bins. I just felt like it was such a cute combination. So like I said, I will be linking all of those down below here and also over on my website so that you can pin them on your Pinterest for ideas for later if you like, but I am just in love with how this pantry turned out. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know it is just my time now. Gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive. All right, so we just finished the pantry and now we are moving on to the kitchen. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually clear every single thing off of the countertops and that way we can really start with a clean slate and then we will kind of go from there and we're going to kind of slowly go through each cabinet decluttering anything that she doesn't need anymore, doesn't use and mostly just focusing on organizing everything that she does have. I want to 
Alright, so I did not film this part just because I was trying to kind of figure everything out in my head. But I'm going to walk you guys through what we are doing. So I know that we're going to want to put some of her spices down in one of her drawers just to get them off her counter space. And I, one, did not order a, a drawer spice rack. And two, I want to say they're like 30 to 40 bucks when I've seen them online. And I just didn't want to pay that. Pay that. And so I am going to do like a DIY. I actually was looking up on Pinterest because I think you can do this in different ways. But I believe Do It On A Dime, I found her blog post over on Pinterest. And so I am just kind of following that, except I've kind of changed it up just a few little steps. But I'm going to talk you guys through it and tell you how exactly we went about this. So this is what I have so far. These are all connected, but this is just a foam board that you can get at Dollar Tree. So I did grab two of them. So first what I did is I found the drawer that we're going to be putting it in and I measured all the way across to see how wide it was. And then I grabbed the tallest spices that we are going to put on here and I cut the foam board down to the width of the drawer. I'm just using a little X-Acto knife. You could probably use scissors if you're really careful, but this worked amazingly. And then I measured how tall the tallest one of these are and I made it about that height. So this is just about four and a half inches. And then I cut with the foam board, I measured and cut all the way across. On the other side, I flipped it over. And then I did the same thing about an inch and a half up from, from this line. And then you're just going to bend this, but not all the way through. So you don't want to actually break it. You just want to cut the first layer and then snap the foam and the best way that I was able to snap the foam is put it against your countertop and just push it down like that so I hope that makes sense but basically you're going to end up doing that the whole way so you're going to do four and a half inches which is the height of the spice jars one and a half inches four and a half inches one and a half inches four and a half one and a half and so on until you have the length of the drawer this is where I'm going to take you guys along with us on the rest of this process now I am going to use this colored contact paper that we picked up at Dollar Tree and just to cover it and give it a really nice finish. Like you could totally leave it like this. It just does look a little bit unfinished because of the edges. So this is going to make it look a little bit more finished. And then once I cover it with that, then we are actually going to position it how we like it so that it's not sliding around the drawers like this. And I'm going to glue the edges down on another piece of foam board that I will cut to the size of the drawer. So that's kind of where we're at. So as you can see, I'm just measuring out the size of the drawer and then I'm just going to cut that down to make this kind of like a base in the drawer just to help the shelves stay in place. And then once I get that cut down, I'm actually going to hot glue the shelves in place just so they're not sliding around or anything and they're really nice and sturdy. I was so, so impressed with how this DIY turned out. And you totally can just leave it white like this. It just looks a little bit unfinished, but a lot of it you're not going to end up seeing. I love that we were able to cover this in the Dollar Tree contact paper. It just looked so, so high end. And you would not believe that this cost us only $3.
So the next thing I wanted to tackle was her drawers. So basically what we did is we just went around the entire bottom of her kitchen, just going through each drawer, each cabinet individually, and then just deciding if there was anything that she wanted to get rid of. And then also as we were doing that, we organized everything as we went and it just made the process really nice because we didn't have to go back through and reorganize things. Once we had decluttered, we just did it all in one swoop. And one thing that I did to every single one of her drawers was add in shelf liners and it made such a huge difference. I got all of them from Dollar Tree and so they were all matching. They were just the really light wood style and it kept the drawers feeling nice and open because it was really light, but it also just had kind of a high-end look and so I really like how elevated it made the drawers look. And when you're organizing your drawers, don't be afraid to add in different containers within the drawer. Just because it's already a contained drawer does not mean you cannot organize it anymore. As you can see here, I'm adding in multiple Dollar Tree containers to really organize the drawer and keep everything organized when you're opening and closing it. And that will just make a huge, huge difference in how well your organization will hold up. Confusion, yeah. Have you ever felt like you was on display? Every word you said just had to be explained. I guess my time's run out. It's just confusion, confusion, try to come around, but I know it's gonna take a while. So what, I wanna hang with my friends, so what, I wanna go out again, so what, I wanna write you a song, it's not my fault that you can't sing along, I try to keep it cool and eat. So in my sister's home, she has some cabinets like this where they're a little bit tricky because they're on a diagonal wall, which makes it really nice and interesting looking but organizing it can be a little bit tricky. So what I did was I found a smaller bin and I organized a few of the items within that bin on the side and then the rest of the items just kind of went off to the left of that and ended up working out really, really well. So just don't get discouraged when you have kind of a more unique space. A lot of times you can end up making them look really amazing. You just have to get a little bit more creative within that space. Stop loving you Every time when you're looking at me It feels like my heart is keeping on beat Yeah, you know I can't live without you You make me crazy In a good way So come on, baby Let's talk 
So under her sink was kind of a bit of a mess. As you can see, there were like a thousand grocery bags down here, not really organized at all. She just had cleaners kind of sprawled across wherever they fit and really just nothing was contained. So I pulled in a few different Dollar Tree items, like these big round baskets. I love these because they fit the spaces really well. And it also is perfect when you're holding a bunch of circular items like cleaning products and rags. It just utilizes the space really well, I feel. And then you're really able to combine things that go together, like all of her cleaning products are in one bin. She has cleaning rags in the next bin. And then to tackle all those grocery bags that they have, I'm actually putting those in these tall circular containers from Dollar Tree as well. They have lids, but they are super easy to get in and out of, and you can pack a ton of grocery bags in them. I did this also at my other sister's home and it worked really well as well. So if you save a ton of grocery bags underneath your sink too, definitely give this a try. It will make a huge, huge difference. So come on, baby. Let's talk. Let's talk about love. Finally, we are on to decorating. We didn't really want to do too much in the kitchen because we didn't want to overwhelm the space and we wanted to keep it really nice and simple. But I did want to add a few different touches that really made it feel homey and really nice and decorated. And then I also wanted to make it really functional. And so she had a calendar that was just sitting on the counter prior to this and it was really functional for them, but it didn't really do anything for the look of the kitchen. And so I found this really nice glass calendar along with a little mail and key holder. And I thought this would be perfect in the kitchen. And then they also had their last name sign, which was super cute up above it so I love this simple little command center and it ended up working out perfectly. And then I also got her a little container for her soap. This is actually the same soap dispenser that I have at my house, which is actually not a soap dispenser at all. It's just an oil and vinegar jar. You can get these from Dollar Tree. This specific one is from Target. Like I said, I'll link it down below for you guys. But just doing simple things like this, like taking your soap dispenser off your countertop and putting it in a really nice and decorative jar that's still functional, just really elevates the space and small things like that that make the biggest difference, I feel. We'll work it out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Yeah, we could go for a ride The two of us, we don't have to stop Baby, let's go for a ride You and I, let us run away We can go Here's another little trick that I've been doing for years I have these little command hooks in my bathroom, in my kitchen. I've done them at my other sister's house. I have them in my kitchen to hang up my cleaning towels. I also have them above my oven to hold onto my pot holders. It's just really nice to utilize that space. And these are also really nice because they're apartment friendly. There's no drilling or anything. You just stick them right onto the inside of your drawers and you can have a ton of extra usable space.
So this is how her kitchen ended up turning out and I love it so much. I feel like it's just so simple and classic. We didn't do anything crazy like painting the cabinets because like I said, this is renter friendly and I really like to keep my renter friendly makeovers truly renter friendly, like not do a bunch of crazy stuff, but it just goes to show that you can make a few simple changes and have such a major huge impact. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you tons of ideas for your own home. Let me know in the comments what your very favorite part of this kitchen and pantry makeover was. I think for me, it was definitely the pantry. I just love, love, love that space so much. And I also love the command center that we set up for them. Do not forget to go check out Top Cashback. Like I said, I will have the $10 link down below so you can get your $10 bonus cash back. And also don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. I hope you guys have the most amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.